Hey guys, so in today's video we'll be using the 8051 in multi-sim to take some numbers from a keypad and display them onto an LCD. First we're going to begin by making the circuit in multi-sim real quick. First we will add the 8051, connect VCC to it and the ground where they should be connected. Then add the LCD and the keypad make all the correct connections as you can see below. The main idea is to connect the rows and the columns to the correct pins that we will use later when we program. We'll start in the main where we will need to initialize the LCD and send the correct commands to get it working correctly. Two commands that are necessary to get it working correctly are sending code 38 hexadecimal and E hexadecimal. We will also make a separate command method because the way that the LCD stores commands, uh, you have to send a low to the RS port and a low to the read write port to say that you're writing and also send a high to low falling edge signal so it would save it in its register which is why we make a separate command so we wouldn't have to do all this every time we also need to make the display method which also is similar fashion except using those ports that I mentioned previously the only difference is that we use a set bit for the RS port because that sends it to the display register instead of the command register. So whatever data we put from the accumulator will be sent to be displayed on the LCD instead of interpreting it as a command for the LCD. Finally, this is an extra step, but we're gonna make a delay function just to have that in case our processor is too fast and this, I use 10 as my value for R2, but you can try different values and see which works best for you. Uh, 10 works pretty well. The only thing is the delay is so that the processor has some time between commands to like send the signals correctly. We're also gonna be putting a delay between displaying so the set and clear bits would have time to be detected. Now with our LCD initialized by sending those commands, we first set all of port three to on so we can make sure that the rows are all on for the keypad because the way that the keypad works is you have all the rows on and then when you're checking a specific row, you set that to off or low by clearing the bit and then checking the columns based on which column gets like cleared or becomes a ground you will know which button was pressed so here we make the check row one function where we're uh, clearing the first row by clearing port 3.0 and then we call a delay just to give it some time to take effect then we go and check port uh, 1.0 to make sure if uh, now it's clear because if it's clear that means it's pressed so then we display the value 7 as a character because this is ASCII that we're gonna display on the LCD then we do the same thing for point uh, 1.1 to check the next column and then we do the same thing to port 1.2 to check the next column we're going column by column checking if any of them are low we um, print or yeah, print the character that they have onto the display. Otherwise, we jump to the next uh, statement, which checks the next uh, column. We cannot forget to set bit for the row that we checked in the end, so it wouldn't be affected when we check the next row by clearing that bit or clearing that row. 
Now we come back to the main and we call the method that we made to check row one and we call a delay after. And then we uh, call the other check rows for row two, three, and four, which we're gonna make soon. For me, uh, for the keypad, there are actually multiplication and C and some other. For this tutorial, we're showing how to display numbers from the keypad, so we're just ignoring those extra uh, buttons on the keypad. And then we do a short jump back, or again, to the first, so we're always continuously checking every row and displaying whatever is pressed. Since it's pretty much the same code as row one, just with different um, ports, I copied and pasted row two, three, and four, and you can see the code. It's mainly the same. The only thing that changes are which port we clear, since it's a different like row. And the other thing that changes are the actual characters associated with each column, since we're on a different row. Now we go back to the project and we run the code that we just did. As you can see, the LCD is on. We press on the keys, the ones that we programmed anyway, one through nine and zero. And you can see it prints every single one. The main idea of this project is to really see how do we interface a keypad and an LCD with a microcontroller specifically 8051 using assembly. I hope you have liked the video and don't forget to like and subscribe.